sorry. I, I was like, oh, I forgot to hit the record button. My bad. Thank you, Lynette. <laughs> she cued me. Hit the record button. Go ahead, Susan. Um, you know, I just want to first first just thank you for um, for that course and truly, it you know, helping me get out of the the box of of applying uh, myself out in the world. And um, your your process works um, works fabulously. Uh, there's just, I mean, there's for someone that doesn't tend to do a lot of social social media and doesn't like to use that as a tool, it definitely is helping um, getting out there in a different way. And your process mm -hmm. truly does does work to do that. And you know, things aren't perfect, but I'm getting but I'm getting there. So yeah, uh, thank you for all that you that you do in the world and and help helping us get through it. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who may not know, um, Susan took my 90 minute workshop. Uh, it was my 90 minute workshop on 90 minute workshops. And it, we called it plan profitability. It's how to create a workshop and make sure that you make money before you go any further with that. And so Susan did that. And um, may I talk out of school on you? I did this last time. I just wanted to make sure I have totally. still permission. Um, yes. But uh, she was one of those that I don't feel comfortable doing this. I don't want to let pretty much she never said it that way she's much too polite but you know it was like literally you could feel the breaks like I do not want to do this and the fact that it was a workshop like we were actually doing it in real time was what was kind of freaking people out because they're used to those wonderful webinars where you're on for 77 minutes and you still have not been taught anything that's of value for your business so that's one of those things so the plan profitability I run that workshop once a month and you are welcome to attend. And if you can't sign up because you can't get there live, I have a video that you can purchase for 197 bucks and Lynette's put it up in the chat. So first of all, Susan, you were a delightful student because you resisted in every possible way that you could <laughs> and said no. And yet you did, but to your credit, you worked through it. And now look at you. How many yeah. workshops have you done so far? I've done two. You've done and, two. You know, each, each one has you know work in progress, but the the workshop itself is going really well, mm -hmm. and um, and still you know figure navigating, getting it out there, and getting responses, and uh, finding different avenues of where to where to you know are you interested, where to put that um, that post. So each one uh, is a little bit different. We get a little broader uh, set of set of folks. So it's yeah, it's just definitely moving along. It's one of those things where I highly recommend that you just be consistent, like set up a time where you're doing this once a month and that's where it starts to build. And in the process of 18 months, you it won't even be the same sort of workshop. You'll have the crew that you want to be working with. It's, it's awesome that way. So anyway, congratulations well, you. on your workshop though. Uh, that's wonderful. That both much. of them have been working out for you. Now, anyone else that has taken one of my workshops uh, or my one online courses, you're one of my students in the 10 Steps to Abundance. Anybody have question? I think we had Jackie and she has disappeared from camera. So any other student that would like to ask a question before we move on? Because originally this was open Friday coffee was for all my students. It was my open office hours. Oh, Jackie, you're back. If you will, please unmute and ask your question, my friend. Yeah, well, my first question is how to navigate my office without knocking over a glass <laughs> of water, which is what happened. <laughs> yeah. it, the struggle is real with the home office. <laughs> <laughs> it really, really is. And all your ring lights and trying to keep animals and, and children, yeah, right? Water yeah, models. And, and, and two-legged animals. <laughs> and yeah. Uh, so my question is about, well, I, we've got a workshop coming up on J January 4th. So it is the 18th, 16th of uh, December. How soon is too soon? What is the right time for me to start with that? As you know, I've got, got my event starting on Sunday, and then I have a break until I do the two day from Hawaii and, and later in January. So when do I start marketing this workshop? I would do it the day after you're done with your event on Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, I'd start on Tuesday. Okay. On Tuesday, because... Um, Monday is kind of tough on everybody. And I've had a lot more traction on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays when I do stuff like that. If I'm doing my woo-woo, and you and I talk about this, but if I'm doing my woo-woo workshops, uh, the woo-woo group, I always hit on Fridays because that's usually when they're off work and uh, I'm heavily on Facebook at that time. But when it comes to the other stuff, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's when I'm hitting up the demographic on LinkedIn because that's, that's when my people are engaged on LinkedIn at that time. 
Okay. Cool. So Monday, Monday I use for my administrative day. <laughs> meet all my team. I meet all my team, you know, all that kind of stuff, which uh, all that. But does that help answer your question? It does. Thank you very much. Okay. Awesome. So I want to introduce my team here a little bit. Um, you got to see Lynette. She flashed on real quick early there and uh, she likes to hide in the background and that's okay. We love Lynette, but she likes to work in the background on that. But I also wanted to introduce Liz Hill. If you'd unmute yourself, Liz. And tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do. Hi, I'm Liz Hill from Bridgeport, Connecticut. I help with podcast management, optimization, and website maintenance. So I go to Liz and I go, hey, Liz, this is what we need to have posted. And then if you've been a guest on any of one of my last seven podcast programs, Liz was the one that was posting your content. She's the one that does the website management for all of that. So I would always laugh. Anytime somebody had a problem with their website, it was because I had done something to it. So finally, I just gave it all to Liz and said, here you go. I keep making spelling mistakes. And so she kind of takes care of me with that. Uh, thank you very much for showing up here today, Liz. I appreciate you. Thanks. And then the other, the other one is uh, we're going to talk to Professor Inkwork here and Ghostwriter. This is Jeff Bourgeois, who happens to be one of those folks that assists me not only with send out cards, but uh, he and I collaborate heavily together to network and make sure we send uh, people to where they need to go. So if I don't know somebody that does what you need to, for your challenge that you have, Jeff does. And there's another gentleman I called to, and that's Jeff, uh, Michael Whitehouse. And then there's a third one called Tom Perone. And those three are my collaborated uh, networkers. I also belong to WOW Network, which is Juan Vides. But Juan is so insanely busy right now, he doesn't have time to be the collaborator <laughs> like when he was first starting out in 2020. Uh, right now, he's gone off to do his own thing. So for all of you who are part of those different networks of mine, I want to say thank you. And then, uh, Jeff, I'll let you finish chewing. That's my superpower is calling on people <laughs> right after if they've taken a big bite of something. I'll call on you in a minute. Um, the other person who's a part of my team is Mary Sloan. Mary is the queen of press releases. Go ahead and unmute yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do, hon. She'll get there. She'll oh, get yeah. there. It's just Every buttons. Time. It's buttons, you know, and it's early morning here. Come on, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I do press releases, and I brought a document that bears Janine's signature because she's been helping me with this. And it tells you exactly what I need if you would like to get press support. And you do that with a press release. And, um, you know, it in adds incredibly to your authority, your credibility, and really you allows you to reach a wider audience. Um, Jackie is a friend of mine, and I know that she had a big concert last year. And nobody came to me and asked for a press release. And it really was something that Ooh. people would have really liked to know about. And, you know, people think, oh, well, the press won't need it. You know, the press don't, I'm not big. I don't need it. Well, that's not true. There's a lot of real reporters who have your audience. And if you let them know that you've been on the press, you've got a press release, they can help you. And you can do it locally, or you can do it nationally, or you can do it internationally. So it's um, really a way to reach out. Yeah. So what, what I what I love about Mary is she she goes through that spiel and I always go, yeah, but Mary, what sold me was the line of what do you do for people for their investment? That's what sold me because I'm a financial person, finances and money. So what was it that you always say to people? Well, you know, for every dollar you invest, you get $10 back. I mean, there you go. You know, but she said that I went, Whoa, what? Wait, wait, now you've got my interest. <laughs> yeah. Well, and so, and, you know, right now it's a tax benefit because you can write off the cost. So I mean, now is the time to think about putting expenses on maybe you don't need it right now. But book it and use this as a tax break right now. Yep. So that's Mary, and she's the one that does our press releases. And so people are like, Janine, my gosh, I see you everywhere. Why is that? And I go, because I have these amazing people who are spreading the message for me, and they do it very inexpensively relative to <clears throat> Facebook ads. 
um, I would much rather pay a person that's very good at what they do than to send it into meta and corporate sponsorship. So that's, that's why I like uh, what Mary does. So anyway, Mary, if you would let people know about you, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, okay, I so just put a link there that'll give them an opportunity to know to contact me with questions. And, yep. um, you know, if they're ready, um, there's a payment link, etc. So Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, so that is uh, for the students and my team. I asked my team, certain members of my team to come on today because I'm like, it's last, my last open Friday coffee and I want people to be able to meet you. So uh, yeah, Jeff, if you wouldn't mind sharing a little bit about what you do. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. Um, I am a lot of things, but uh, going into 23, I'm focusing on connecting people. So my official title is uh, curator of connections, and as my my new nickname is suggesting, I am going to vanish personally. I'm literally going to put my ghostwriter personality out there, and uh, I'm going to spend my time on strategy. So, my superpower is using networking to get you in front of hundreds and thousands of people who are begging for your time and attention, rather than uh, the traditional marketing and as Janine said, I'd rather put money in people's hands than give it to the billionaire. So that's my my superpower is connecting people. Mm -hmm. And you want to have Jeff as somebody you're, who's your go-to. Uh, there have been times he has sent me so many referrals, I had to ask him to stop and give me a time to catch up because I wanted to take care of every person he sent to me. So that's that's what ended up happening is I had to say, okay, I need a 30 day hiatus until the rest of my team and I can catch up. So he's somebody that's good to know if you're working with things. So, okay. So that is the students. Is there anybody here from matchmaker.fm that wanted to interview me for a show or something? No? Okay. And then uh, anybody here? Let's see. I think that's everyone I know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go around the horn then and ask each one of you how I can help you. And I'll start with uh, Jim and then Mark, and then we'll go to Kelly. So go, Jim. Hi, Jim. What can I do for you, dude? <laughs> Welcome to the Open Friday Coffee. Wow. So, well, it's great to be here finally. You know, my Friday is my only day off in 10 years. So <laughs> we're still short staff. So my main thing, I'm still just trying to get out and connect with people. That's the hard thing. I've got like 3,000 business cards. And it's just rough getting time to even sit there and contemplate getting out there and talking to people and uh, doing some of these things. So so Friday's your only day off because you have that job where you're keeping the airplanes flying high. Thank you. Yes. Um, they say silly things. So I got to laugh a couple of days ago trying to get a pilot to do something. And he's going tell him to avoid some airspace he goes we're nowhere near there i said well if you do what i tell you to do you're going to be there <laughs> and then he goes oh you're trying to separate us <laughs> kind of in the job description so, traffic jokes for, uh, jackie there <laughs> see jackie you do pay attention so, no, it's, yeah it's just trying to connect and all that because you know my ch my schedule changes every day right every so day. You have one day that you're guaranteed to have off for Probably the most off, part. God. Yeah, which is Friday. Yeah. And you enjoy your send out cards. So I would recommend that you take two or three people every time that yeah. you want to connect with and set up Zoom meetings. Don't go out anywhere. There's no reason for that unless you that brings you great joy. Some people really need the one-to-one -one interaction that brings them great joy. So I encourage it. But for me, it's like I meet on Zoom. And here's an idea. I don't know if this is going to work for any of you other business owners out there, but this is something that has worked very, very well for me. Because I'm in send out cards and I get addresses from anybody at the drop of a hat, which by the way, if you would like to be part of the your mute group and have your very own card that uh, you can have for that. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you, Jackie. Love that. And there's <laughs> yes. And we have Jeff and I know Nicole's about ready to pull hers up when she finds it. But the thing is, is if you would like a card like that, I don't ever sell when I'm sending direct mail. It's really just to stay in touch. It's a way I do follow up. You can go to the uh, link that's in the chat and get your own card on that. But this is an idea that may help other business owners. 
once a month, I really need personal interaction with people. If you need it twice a month, that's up to you. And what I do is I send out a card to all the people in the local area and I say, hey, I'm going to be at XYZ Coffee Shop. I'm going to be there from this time to this time. I would love to see you. And then on the back of the card, I put a QR code. And that QR code, they read it, it goes into their phone and it goes to Google Maps and it shows them exactly what coffee shop I'm at. Because in my location, there are three different Ziggy coffees. And so everybody got confused. Everybody go to the wrong one. And so I would use my send out card. Oh, thanks, Mark. You're going to show off the card. <laughs> anyway, so that's an idea that you can send out to your local people a card and then have a QR code on the back. And anyway, that's how I do follow up. If you want to learn more tips and tricks on how I use uh, direct mail, like what Mark's holding up there. Thanks, Mark. That's my cookie monster one. Um, you are welcome to sign up. Uh, we have gone on winter break, but in January 19th, I'll start back up with how to send cards and do direct mail. Um, you can start off at something as simple as $37 a month and work up to that. I'm currently on the spending anywhere from $150 to $300 a month because to me, it's the least expensive marketing for relationship marketing you can have. So anyway, that's what you can do with that. So that's what I recommend, Jim. You have one day a week that you know is yours for free. So maybe once a month, find a coffee shop somewhere, your favorite place, and start sending out cards to everybody in your local area and have them come meet you there and just connect with those relationships and just start doing that. It's super simple, it's easy, and you're in a place that you enjoy, okay? Good idea, all right, that'll help you out. All right, Mark, how can I help you? You can help. Well, uh, good morning and happy holidays. And thank you for the card, especially the Cookie Monster, when you know I'm trying to work on my uh, exercise regimen with my personal trainer. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, can't, I can't fight it this month. You yes. can help with uh, balancing. I'm working as an, uh, Jackie, I put it in my, after my name, a board certified patient advocate. I'm uh, independent, so I, I work solo. Uh, it's a new venture for me, just for those who don't know. But I'm also a compliance consultant. I work 25 to 30 hours a week for an outpatient mental health reviewing medical records. So my question is balance between my job that's paying me the bills and the job I want to, my passion job, as well as the two organizations that I sit on as board members. Okay, um, I highly recommend that you change your language. Balance is um, a word that requires a lot of energy. I always think of the old cat in a hat books where he's standing on the ball and he's got the 50 plates and, and uh, he's trying to stay balanced. Balance requires that you always, thank you, Jackie. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> balance requires you to always have energy and effort being put into it. So if you start thinking of it in terms of music instead, which is harmony, start using the word, how do I harmonize my life? How do I sit in harmony with this? How do I do this in harmony? It's a higher frequency word, first of all. And second of all, um, it allows all the elements and all the variables um, in your life to play at the frequency they want to play at. And it's fully is fine. So what I like to say is if you have 10 people on a theater stage and they're all talking, it's chaos. It's mayhem. You can't understand a thing. But if you have 10 people on a stage and it's an opera and they're all singing, they sing in harmony. Everybody's singing their own part. Everybody's doing it their own way, but it's in harmony. And it's a beautiful thing. And the audience receives it and it's just fab fabulous, okay? So that is the first piece of advice I can give you is start focusing on how you can harmonize your life. And because I was raised in Japan and I have a lot of the Japanese aesthetic in my worldview, um, I see it then as waves of the ocean. There are going to be times I have super high activity and I have absolutely zero work-life balance because <laughs> the last two weeks, 15 hour days every day because we were wrapping up to end of year. But then I know I'm gonna have a whole month now to swell back, relax, recoup, re-energize, reinvigorate myself, and at the same time, rework. So I'm going to start setting up systems and Jeff Bourgeois has been kind enough. He's giving me the world's best Christmas gift you could ever give busy professionals like me. And that is, hey, Janine, I'm working out a system. As soon as I got it figured out, I'm going to hand it to you and let you run with it. Michael Whitehouse did the same thing with me. He's the one that inspired me for the open Friday coffee. So anytime you can give people 
anytime you can save people money, save people time or save their knowledge, they will pay you handsomely. And it works great for relationship marketing. Does that help answer your question? Yes, it does. Okay, okay cool. All right. Can you, just, can you just repeat the last three things you said? You said time, money, and knowledge. Was that right? Yes, time, money, and knowledge. Yes. And uh, Naomi and Fitz, thank you so much for being with us. And Elise, and I, I haven't forgotten you. I'm just working through the different uh, people. So thank you for your patience with all of this. Okay. So is there, uh, oh, Nicole, hi. If you will unmute yourself, Elisa, I do see you too. But hey, Nicole, how are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> the reason I'm bringing Nicole up is, and uh, Lynette, I would love it if you would put the um, link in the chat. Something really pissed she and I off. I was actually more upset than she was. She was the calm head of the two of us on this. And that was when I had $2,800 that I had put into my audiobook. Because if you're going to upload an audiobook as an author, you have to do it very specifically in order for it to go to ACX and then Audible and then be able to be purchased by people on, on uh, Amazon. You have to be very, very specific how it does. And it costs a lot of money because it requires a type of, I have been in broadcasting since 1987. And I assure you, even, even with my skill set, was not up to the task of what ACX requires. I'm not pro at that level. And so $2,800 later, it's still not up on uh, ACX because they were telling me I didn't own the rights to the content, to which I'm what, excuse me? What are you saying to me? <laughs> I am very I'm independently published. But the problem was the book that I had published was before Kindle was even a twinkle in Amazon's eye. And so when I decided to start filling out my products with a audiobook, it was very expensive. So about an hour after today, uh, the Open Friday Coffee, Nicole and I are going to be teaching people how to record their audiobooks for free and sell them on their website. Because the rigmarole that you have to go through to be on Amazon so ticked me off. And Nicole's like, hey, we got this, we got this. So she's worked out a, a process. I have a process and it is a workshop. We'll be walking you through how to go about doing all of those questions. So if you have anybody that is interested in this, please let them know about it and just register and you'll get the recording. And then the recording will be available for purchase later as well. But it was just a frustration. And Jeff knows me very well. Anytime <laughs> I get really frustrated <laughs> and ticked off about something, I do that. So Nicole, what did you want to add to that? Well, just to add that uh, for me, it's really the tools that, that, that are out there for someone that independently wants to either do it themselves or have somebody kind of pick up and do that heavy lifting. Amazon is, is a, a learning curve. There's a lot that you have to go through and there's specs that you have to have. And so as a person who does the narration, uh, it, it can be even frustrating on that. And I can only imagine as a writer what you want to share. And so why not do it yourself and mm -hmm. share it with your own audience? I think that's just the best way to do it you know, uh, as a, as an author, uh, stay connected. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing that at what time again, Nicole? I'm sorry. I never can remember. <laughs> it's 11 mountain standard time. So 10, 10 Pacific. Yeah. Just okay. at an hour after this. Yeah. Cause okay. we'll be done at 10. So one hour after that. Okay, I thought we had done it that way. So thank you, Nicole. I appreciate you being on here. Nicole and I uh, met through podcasting. We were both podcasters. We were doing a collaboration. I found out, oh, she's right up here in Wyoming. So uh, it's wonderful. I'm able to visit her on occasion. So just how that's how we connected. So thank you, my wonderfully patient people, uh, Naomi and Fitz, uh, and then we'll go with Elise. So Naomi, uh, we've known each other for years and years, long before I ever was into podcasting. How are you, my dear? I'm doing absolutely amazing. How are you? <laughs> well, I'm I'm rocking my elf outfit. I got I 15 bells that. on this I thing, man. I so love much. it. <laughs> I know I have so much fun. I get up and you know do the dance for you. But see, part of the reason is I want you to get a card and then you can get the picture of me and my whole elf, elf outfit. So I love it. Yeah. I love anyway, it. So that what's cooking great. with you and how can I help you? And who how you know, is my favorite astrologist doing? I just love you. Um, everything is amazing. Like I'd say my biggest challenge, which I have trouble figuring out how to word, like what I need is just, is just staying focused on the things that I need to do until they're complete. But I have so many good things going on. I'm in that, uh, that, um, tsunami of, um, up leveling. 
And um, so I certify light-filled astrologers. I teach people to do astrology the way that I see it, where we keep God as the focus and give the glory and credit to him. And I also teach about human design. And so I just absolutely love helping people to discover who they truly are um, and teach other people to go out and help others do it. So I, I have successfully multiplied myself many, many times, um, and I plan to keep doing it, and it's going really well. Um, next year, I do plan to write and publish uh, my first book about astrology, but I'm actually about to publish um, my first workbook, um, but it will only be available to those that take my course. So just bought a 10 pack of ISBNs yesterday. I'm delighted. <laughs> um, everything is going really, really well. So I think I'm just happy to be here. I love soaking up all the people that are connected to you, Janine. You attract the most awesome people ever <laughs> because like attracts like. And um, I actually brought my dear friend Elise Houston today to meet you because she just is amazing. And I just was like, I just feel like you need to know Janine. So <laughs> here I am. Okay. Thank you so much, Naomi. It's always so good to reconnect. There was a problem always. with the landing page on the audiobook. Let me help people out there. Yes. Here is the link and it has the app for Zuku, uh, the countdown timer. I was having problems with it yesterday. It was not connecting. Has anyone else had been having issues with the tech in the last two weeks? And um, anyway, I know Jackie has. So I was struggling with the countdown timer. There you go for the audio. Let me put this down. The audiobook course right here you go and uh that will bypass that countdown timer and get you into the program <laughs> anyway um but naomi thank you so much naomi and i were gosh we were both working our uh businesses and we have totally pivoted a 2020 brought us into very very different fields and uh she and i used to meet frequently when i was out in utah and i was a professor at george with college I was teaching math and physics to people. That's That's been quite a way, ways ago, huh? Um, anyhow, and so uh, Fizz, thank you so much for waiting and just sitting there so very patiently. How can I help you? And where do you come from, my friend? I don't know where I come from, actually. <laughs> How are you? Um, Pla Planet Mary Centauri, Sloan. well answered. <laughs> Mary Sloan actually suggested that I show up. Aww. And, uh, yeah, she's a sweetheart and uh, we have some things in common with she has our signature stories and I have signature songs um, and I loved your share about the harmony instead of balance using the word harmony that was a really great share and I hope you don't mind uh, you've heard the term let the music do the talking right yes I have just like you know a picture's worth a thousand words it's right there with that yeah Perfect. So just give me 10 seconds. That's it won't, it won't take too much longer. So that's one of my clients. Her name is Nancy Matthews. She's the owner of the Women's Prosperity Network. And that's her song, Everyone's the One, Be the One. And uh, she wrote a book called Be the One. Uh, treating everybody like they're the one. And what I do is I help entrepreneurs, authors, anyone that has a message, I help you take that message and transform that into a song that inspires people to join your movement. Oh, and, thank you. Yeah, and and I, I work with, uh, I have a few different packages and things I offer. I actually work with a Grammy award-winning producer. And uh, so Mary thought it would be a good idea if I introduced myself to your group. I think that is good because we do audiobooks, we have programs, we are always looking for opening songs for like, and literally, this is what's so funny, Lynette and I were speaking before we let everyone in and I said, hey, we need to get some music and an opening track for the Open Friday Coffee. And she goes, yeah, I don't know anybody. I said, all right, I'll wait. Usually it comes around. The universe always brings me what I need every time. I'm a spoiled brat that way. Wow. And uh, <laughs> and so definitely would like to connect with you a little bit further on. And so if you'll uh, sign up for our next Open Friday Coffee and Lynette will put that in the chat. 
uh, then we can give you a little bit more screen time. But we're in uh, winter break mode. And so I'm going to have to put you on hold until next year, but definitely reach back around to us. Okay. Yeah, and also, uh, speaking of movements, uh, Jackie Simmons was a part of the Teenage Suicide uh, Network or something like that. I may have screwed that up. So teenage Suicide something. Anyway, they have a song. Will you I sing our it. song? Oh, and yeah. so I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, so Jackie, go ahead and unmute yourself and say it correctly since your friend kind of hacked it really well. Think teaspoons, T-S-P-S, -S, Teen Suicide Prevention Society. So that's the group. Singoursong.com is our movement to get before you decide out into the world. And it is a song that can be used to save relationships, to save people from leaving long-term jobs and to get them to open up on the topic of being stuck in their heads with negative thoughts, what we call a negative echo chamber. So I'm going to put the link in the chat. Nominate anyone you know who can sing. I don't care if they just sing in the shower to do a cover of this song and help make this a movement. Our mission is to end teen suicide. So that is the power of song. And so Fitz, all I can say is thank you so much. For okay. being a part, fizz. It's there's fizz. No, yeah, oh, know, like the of, soda. A lot of people tend to say fits, I guess, because that's a, a normal name. But I'm not normal, so it's fizz. I would never consider you normal, my friend. Um, so uh, that's the highest compliment I can give anybody. Is like Very they'll say, "Oh, I just want a normal life." I went, "Why aren't you having fun?" <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Anyway. Normal. So Fizz, we appreciate you. And Jackie has put in to the link the Sing Our Song. I wanted to share a quick testimonial on that. I reached out to a friend of mine who is in Atlanta, Georgia, who works with rappers. And she's one of the backup singers. She, I've always thought her voice was better than anything the other guys were screaming about. But here she is in the background doing that. And I nominated her. It caused her whole community to go nuts. She was like, she started telling me her story, tears in her eyes, you know, it was like one of those things that when you nominate somebody that you think is uh, sing worthy, not that that's really a thing to me, I think anybody can sing, I don't care whether you carry a tune or not, but, um, but it so was blow, blew her away that it brought a whole new level of conversation uh, for their band. And so um, anyway, it's called Cinnamon Sweets, if you guys ever happen to stumble across that. But anyway, so Fizz, thank you for what you do because you're absolutely right. If you have a song and you encourage people to do covers of it, it's amazing the movement that you have. Uh, just look at My Little Pony. It was the music people that took that sucker to the next level. And yes, my family is filled with bronies. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, thank you very much for being with us. I'm grateful, Mary, that you brought Fizz in with us and I can't wait to work with you next year. And now to our other lovely guest, uh, Elise, how are you? And how can I help you? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I'm a sponge <laughs> today. This is my first exposure, so. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Brace yourself, get your shields up. <laughs> It's a tidal mm. wave. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of how I roll. I think. <laughs> yeah. So right now, I I have been working as Naomi's um, operations assistant for the better part of a year, um, and I am <laughs> managing three things right now. In addition to being her operations assistant, I'm also doing astrology and human design sessions after the pattern <laughs> of Naomi Fox right now. <laughs> And um, I just started my own business and um, at my calling this year to uh, be an image consultant and help people match their outsides to their insides. So that's very exciting, but new well, and scary. Uh, congratulations. Everybody on this call is an entrepreneur of one form or another. So you're in a safe space to be cringy on everything. Uh, the <laughs> things that your family says, oh my God, I can't believe you're doing that. You bring to this form because it, these it is people, so scary. It, it is, it's terrifying. And so I would like for you to sign up for you're on mute. Uh, Lynette, if you would put the you're on mute uh, link on there again, because I want, because I'll see your name come through Elise and I want to give you a copy of this book. It's called The Thriving Solopreneur. And I'll just send you a copy. Merry Christmas. And, um, <laughs> 
uh, and thank you for showing up here. Uh, but for people who come in and like, you know, I'm just now launching into this, you not only have a fabulous role model in Naomi, who is the queen of being able to get um, community together, but she also makes sure that people realize, hey, I'm not a walking carpet. You will have to pay for entrance into this, right? And, uh, and she won't let you pays too low. And I just finished um, interviewing a lady who has a uh, multi hundreds of millions of dollars in her company. And she calls Raise Your Fees is the name of her book and Jan Wallen. And so I got to chat with her yesterday. And so stay tuned to the Janine Boland show on YouTube, uh, because the 99 authors will go out, will start dropping content at the beginning of the year and look for Jan Wallen's interview. Uh, it'll drop probably around May, May this year because uh, her interview is the one where she encur how she encourages solopreneurs and entrepreneurs to raise their fees without losing clients. It's a really excellent system. So learn from the people who have the cash who've done it, right? And Naomi yeah. is a great mentor <laughs> for that, yeah. So thank you very much, Naomi, I appreciate that. Um, and, and then you, Kelly, that was very kind. <laughs> You're welcome. And then uh, Kelly Sparta. I don't know. Kelly sometimes has to bounce off and has um, uh, clients. But all right, we'll we'll come back around to you, Kelly, when you can do that. Go ahead, Nicole. Hey, thanks. Uh, just going in the chat. I did want to say that I started a podcast and I'm doing that on Saturdays. It's called The Raven and the Warrior. And we're doing a, a little tidbit on Ask Me Anything. So Naomi and Elise and anybody else that the psychic or rune readings, astrology, I'd love to chat with you uh, so we can talk about scheduling you on there. I, anybody else, that'd be great too. And I'm going to volunteer Kelly because she also is, she actually specializes in business owners and helps them re remove their money block. So if you've hit the $100,000 mark with your revenue, but you can't seem to move past that, Kelly kind of helps with that. So I'm going to volunteer, volunteer her for, for you. <laughs> I love it. Uh, and I'll let her know. Well, I'm on a Slack channel with her. So I'll tell you, hey, where were you? And why didn't you sign up with Nicole? So um, <laughs> if you will be kind enough to do that. Yeah, thanks. Um, okay. That will work. It, do we have any other podcasters in the house that are looking for guests? Go ahead, Jackie. I popped it into the chat. Oh, good. Your, okay. Yeah, your brain on positive. And I'm looking for anyone who shifts people's mindsets or you manage your own and you've got some mindset hacks. That's what I'm all about because I believe... As Sean Aker says, your brain on positive is 31% more productive and you are 37% more likely to close the sale. So important skill. So there we go. The link's in the chat. You fill out a form, you get the scheduling link, we get you on. Fabulous. Okay, cool. All right. So Shauna Vanderheek, I don't see you on video, but I thought you had a question you wanted to ask me. So... We'll keep moving on. Does anybody, just a second, Nicole, get right back to you. Does anybody else have a question other than Nicole? No joke. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Nicole. I didn't lower my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> no problem. Okay, does anybody else have a question? Because there's no need to keep you on a Zoom meeting when you don't need to, to be on. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, thank you. I get to use my sign. <laughs> I get to use it too. <laughs> I don't usually mute. So there we go. Um, I, I just wanted to say that I, I love meeting healers and, and wellness people. And I actually, my podcast is about all aspects of wellness. So anybody who helps somebody else be more whole as a human being, I love connecting and being interviewing them. So anybody who would like to learn more and get to know me, uh, my link is in the chat. Um, it is just my LinkedIn group. And I would love to, uh, to get to know some people and uh, put you in front of my network. Thank you so much. And so I'm going to encourage all of you to pop on to LinkedIn, especially if you're a new business owner and connect with the people that are here now. Um, I know that my team will connect with you automatically, especially if you put in a note, 
I saw you on Open Friday Coffee. My team will automatically uh, assign you. We have a system we're getting ready to put into place at the uh, at the beginning of next year where it will be very easy for that to happen, but we don't have that online yet. But we very much want you to connect with everybody that you see here on LinkedIn. Um, my presence, I'm kind of not leaving Facebook. My team will continue to be there, but I will not be answering messages there anymore. I'm really tired of princes encouraging me to marry them because I just don't need it. Um, and you get to a certain level and you're just like, okay, most of the folks that are trying to connect with me. So I encourage everybody go on to LinkedIn, especially if you want to talk to me and other professionals that come onto this call. It's uh, much quicker and easier as Jackie found out when she was on LinkedIn messaging me and I was like, oh, hey, and she's like, Janine, question mark. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, usually it's Lynette. So you'll either get Janine or Lynette if you're on LinkedIn, okay, who's messaging you. But if you want the quickest response, that's the way to, to do it for, um, for my, my crew. Uh, does anybody else have a question or comment? Go ahead, Jackie. All right, just the inspiration of this kind of format. And for anyone who's interested, we are now doing a Wednesday Child No More group. So I have my business, which is another thing, but I also have the Teen Suicide Prevention Society. We get together every Wednesday during the month of December, and we'll be doing it monthly after that. And people can just bring any of their questions, their comments, if they want to be part of the movement, Den Teen Suicide, this is just a safe place to gather. So I dropped the link in the chat so people could uh, come and participate if they want to. Mm -hmm. There's no cost, no commitment, just show up and be part of the mission. Fabulous. Thank you, Jackie. Shauna, hey, thanks for joining the party. What can we do for you today, dear? Well, Jackie introduced me and said I should uh, be here. And so <laughs> just launching my new publishing business. So part of this is just getting out and getting to know some people. But I, one of the things, uh, I'm in very early stages and I really need some help. If anybody knows HubSpot website, I just need probably an hour or if you could recommend someone I could... Um, hire whatever it's like that would be you <laughs> so uh, no I'm, I'm waving I'm waving at Elizabeth as she comes on Shona are you aware that your camera's off or do you not have a camera um I'm I'm on my iPhone and I don't oh. have it up to use the camera no, that's I, okay I, like, new computer set up so yeah I'm like in between a bunch of places <laughs> <laughs> nobody here has had any trouble with technology in the last two weeks so don't worry I mean, everybody on my team is, has been going nuts. And so is Jackie on her team. It's like, uh, I don't know. I, this is my story and I'm sticking to it. I think it's because we're in the Christmas season. There has never been this many people that knew how to use computers and the internet. I don't think the infrastructure is designed for the millions upon millions of new people that are all using the internet because see, the middle school children have finally taught grandma how to use her iPad and iPad and have downloaded the Amazon app. And so grandma is on there <laughs> in ways she never was before. No offense to grandpas. I was just, my grandmothers were always a little more open to technology than my grandfathers. But anyway, so that's what I know is an issue. I do not have experience with HubSpot. Um, does anybody here have a friend or a friend of a friend that would be willing to help out Shauna? And so Shauna, if you would please connect with myself okay. and with uh, Jeff Borshwa on LinkedIn, and then a third person is Michael Whitehouse. And in the notes say, Janine sent me, blame it all on me. And you'll, they'll, they'll sign, they'll have no problem. You won't have trouble all connecting right. with them. Okay. How do, you, how do you spell Jeff's last name? Well, I'm going to let Jeff do that because I kind of murder that name every time. Nope. <laughs> I finally, it only took me almost a year to finally say it correctly. <laughs> You're getting good. You know, I'm getting better. I, I would say the best way. So here's the thing. I'm trying to avoid personal connection um, just because I, I want to get to know people and I want to connect them. But um, the best way to get to know me and to connect with me is through my LinkedIn group, Clientology. 
and um, it's the art and science of client getting. So it's not a weird religion. It's not a cult. <laughs> um, but my network is in that group. And uh, this is one of the systems I'm teaching Janine in the new year is I used to connect people one to one. And I'm just going to say it's exhausting and it's going to lead mm -hmm. to burnout. Um, if you connect in my group, then I can connect you with others in my group. Okay, great. I will do that. Thank you. All right. I'm okay. happy. Okay, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> You'll pass the baton. All right, Shauna, thank you for showing up, though. It's great to see you. Almost. Or almost, almost. <laughs> yeah, next year. Next year, I hope yeah. you will pop back on to Open Friday Coffee so we get to see your lovely face. Okay. I just cool. like to say that I love clientology. That's a great name. I just need to say that. <laughs> and Shauna, I say, since you're on your iPhone, I saved the chat for you. I'll email it to you. All right. Thank you so much, Jackie. Uh, Elizabeth, thanks for joining us. See my superpower right as she goes. <laughs> I tell you, it's every time. I'm not chewing. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was Jeff earlier, right as you took a big bite. I was like, and hey, Jeff, and uh, yeah. Uh, anyway, good morning. How can I help you today? Hi. I don't know. I I don't. I, I didn't come for help. I just came to connect. Kelly's a friend of mine. She mentioned you, and I just said, ah, I'll just pop in and say hello. Oh, well, I'm glad that you did. So yeah. do you run your own business? Are you an author? Yeah, I've been running my own business for 28 years. I'm a coach. Um, just got an email saying my certification was renewed again. So I guess I'm still in the business. Um, well, yay. So, yay for me. What a pain in the ass paperwork. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, I, do a, I do some unique work with people around using muscle testing to get to the source of challenges, emotional, mental, physical challenges, and then clearing them with these cool tools that I learned along the way. And right now I'm working with a lot of perimenopausal, like myself, women around sleep, that are sleep challenged. And so I was just reaching out to Kelly this week, talking about my new thing. And she's like, oh, you gotta join Janine, you know, she's cool. I was like, okay, good, I'm, I'm easy. <laughs> so here I am. So. Nope. Are you certified as a kinesiologist? Uh, kinesiology and a master certified coach. And I have all these tools from this company called Accelerated Evolution, which does trauma clearing, emotional clearing, belief clearing, you name it, clearing. So mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that's going on, it, blocks that we have, have to do with emotional, mental things that are sometimes unconscious that I can turn up with the testing, which is why it's so unique because I don't know anyone else that's combining coaching and healing and muscle testing together not that i know of yet but i'm open to finding people and i'd love to connect with them but well nobody's doing it exactly that way which is why you have a fabulous business model but we have several folks here who are human design we have several oh, yeah. folks here who are woo woo in other areas but they they're combining it differently and that's what i love about the healers that are out now is that you guys are taking tools and you're mishmashing them and you're coming up with your own modality for it and all i can say is i'm your biggest cheerleader your biggest fan i'm like go 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 because i think it's been uh separated out into niches too much and we need to bring in as many tools i know of no doctor who will sit there and say oh i'm a heart surgeon i was trained 20 years ago and this is the only thing i'm going to do no it's continuing education and so if you guys um want to get on podcasts so that you can kind of expand your your thing a bit i have a media kit course that you're welcome to take to take the media kit course before you go on to any podcast to kind of give you some assistance on that um do you have a media kit already elizabeth no um, yeah. not per se i mean i've yeah. done a lot of media training but i don't have you know i've been resistant to that i'm all about word of mouth and connecting and i've yeah, oh, so you have no interest in getting on podcasts or anything? Well, you want I to stay on podcasts? I have been on podcasts, and I just kind of wing it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. So uh, that um, that will work, and then when you're ready to go into uh, media, then let me know. Reach back around to me, okay. and let's get you a media kit because um, they won't look at you for winging it. Uh, it, it depends on where you're wanting to go because some people you i don't want to keep you from playing in your uh pond you know you need to fish in the pond you're supposed to fish in and right. but if you're ready to move to other areas well let's get you so that you're ready to rock and roll 
right? Mm -hmm. Like you don't go on the speaking circuit without a sizzle reel. You just don't do it because yeah, yeah. people are, you're, yeah. And so that's kind of where we are with that. But I'm, I'm so glad you joined us and I you, you missed the beginning, which was Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and Happy New Year to you, you know, and we did all that earlier, uh, but thank you for being with us. Yeah, glad I'm yeah. here. Um, okay, so we have about eight minutes left. Does anybody else have any questions? Go ahead, Mark. You mentioned the media kit. Yeah. Podcast. Where can we access that uh, from your website? Uh, yes, it is on author podcasting. But if you wait one second, I'll wait two seconds. That's the one link that I did not give <laughs> Lynette this morning. I only gave her 115. There we go. And so here's the media kit course it's totally free uh my little um my little gift to everybody because uh a lot of folks are wondering why uh the podcasts that they're working on don't leverage as much aren't getting as much leverage as they could and i started talking to him about if you have a media kit and it kind of the course kind of walks you through what to do on your back end so that as people find you or hear about you they have a very easy path to get to connecting with you right off the bat. So kind of gives you some, some help. Um, this you, It's gonna sound crazy to you guys, but in 2018 was when I started really getting into the multimedia. And what was fascinating to me is I, was, I had been podcasting since 2016. And what was fascinating to me was I went on to Google and I said, how do you get on to a podcast as an author? It was the first time in my life I had zero results. So I knew the universe was sending me in that direction to help authors get on podcasts. Well, then who knew about 2020? 2020 hit and everything changed. And so we started repivoting and all that fun stuff. But the media kit was built because there wasn't a resource at that time out there for that. Go ahead, Nicole. Yeah, I just wanted to expand on the media kit as a podcast host. It is so amazing to have your social links and your bio where I can share that and a great headshot, even if it's a selfie and it's done well, just a great headshot so I can promote you and, and put you out there. Um, when I can't ha don't have a media kit, I, I, it's hard to kind of promote and put you out there so people can go find you after the show. Yeah, so lots of, lots of help on both sides for all of that. Okay, so we have about five minutes to the end of the hour. Was there anybody who wanted to share something, share a tip or a technique, or wanted to have a last question before we sign off? Go ahead, Jeff. You knew I was gonna do it. Um, <laughs> so first of all, I want all of you to recognize the genius that is this Friday coffee with Janine. And what I wanna point out is that this helps Janine's business, the reason she does it is to help others. And what I, I find, a lot of people think that networking is something you do to somebody or something <laughs> they do for you. But the reality is by connecting one person to another, I, I love Janine and anybody that needs her help, I'm happy to put them. I don't bring her leads. And by the way, if somebody calls what I do lead generation, I get really pissed off because they're my friends. They're not leads. So if you put my leads my friends in your funnel, I will end you. That That's just the way it is. Um, but what I'm getting at is each of you should have a LinkedIn group where you can put all of your friends together because that gives your friends a safe space to network and it really elevates you as well. And, and by the way, I'm going to put the link to Janine's media kit in my face or sorry my linkedin group because i'm really tired of people being unclear about who they serve the media kit is janine's gift to you the person who is running your business and by the way even if you're not on podcasts use the clarity of it um, but it also makes it easier for other people to introduce you to other people so i'll be quiet but merry christmas janine i really appreciate you yeah Thank you very much, Jeff. I, I am grateful. Go ahead, Jackie. I did see you. <laughs> yeah, Jeff beat me. And that takes a lot to get to a microphone before I do. Here we go. <laughs> How to survive this week and next week and three weeks and six until Janine comes back. Take <laughs> a deep breath. It is stress management emergency procedure number one. Fill your lungs to capacity so you trigger your body into safety and it releases the chemicals that counterbalance stress. So I'm not, 
yeah, I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm a stress management consultant before they ever had coaches. So take a deep breath, do whatever you need to do, set an alarm on your phone to go off every hour. So you pause and breathe. It will help you tremendously through this week. And Janine, I just want to tell you this bit about niching, Jeff. I got my tribe this week. I put out a post. It's called Confessions of a Closet Woo because my tribe are intuitive coaches and healers. Those are my tribe. And you don't have to be intuitive to work with me. We will train you. <laughs> well said, Jackie. And so for all of you, some of you maybe didn't speak as much as before. That's quite all right. Realize that we'll start up the uh, Open Friday Coffees again in January. And it's one of those things where I just don't have the luxury of one-to-ones like I used to. And so this is the way that I meet new people. And that's why I keep encouraging you to come back, come back with a friend. And then I encourage other business owners to start doing Open Friday Coffees because this is what people really are looking for is a connection and a safe space. Uh, Jeff is going to help me build out uh, my LinkedIn group will launch that in January, give you a safe space so you can connect with all those people because you have met with them there. And this is how you really niche down from those larger, wonderful uh, networking groups that have 60, 80, 150 um, people on and you're doing speed networking and breakout rooms and every, everything. You really want to slow that uh, chaotic energy down so that you can connect with people. But we, I am aware that not all of us have time to do one-to-ones. And so I'm more than willing to jump on a group call if I know that at some point I get to ask your question or I can connect with you in that way and show my face and say, thank you for something. You know, so anyway, for those of you who have just starting your businesses or uh, less than two years in business, congratulations. If you can get past the two-year mark, Okay, the two-year mark, you, everybody nods their head. <laughs> For all of you who have crossed over the seven-year mark, woo, woo, bravo. Seven-year mark is the other one. It's just like marriage. Isn't that interesting how they talk about relationships and times? It's the same with a business, <laughs> okay? For those of you who have been in business for double digits like myself, thank you. Because you and I know how we plowed the ground so that the people coming behind us have it a little bit easier. And I know what workhorses you were. Talk about being in the stanchions, you guys were. <laughs> and so I just want to say thank you very much for being in my world. Thank you for making my day so much better. And have a happy new year in whatever way works best for you. And I look forward to seeing you again in January, okay? So take care, everybody. Lovely seeing you.